Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about clearance of immune complexes in apoptotic cells. The complement system plays a fundamental role in keeping the host safe from certain products that are normally produced in our body. Basically, the complement system plays a housekeeping role. The complement system facilitates the removal and clearance of immune complexes in apoptotic cells that are constantly produced in our body. The immune complexes in apoptotic cells must be removed very efficiently to avoid tissue damage caused by inflammation. Immune complexes are constantly produced and is a way to remove unwanted antigens from circulation. Accumulation of immune complexes in our body can lead to tissue damage and inflammation. Systemic lupus erythematosus, an autoimmune disease, is associated to a lack of removal of apoptotic cells and immune complexes for circulation. The complement system, particularly the classical pathway, protects the host and makes sure that the immune complexes are removed efficiently from circulation. Regulation of immune complex formation. Immune complexes activate the classical pathway here represented by the binding of C1. C1 complex will bind leading to the activation of the classical pathway and the position of C3B. Previous videos show how this process takes place in detail. Since C3B can occur in several places on immune complexes, it is possible that C3B is deposited in the same place where antibodies are recognizing the antigen. If this happens, the antibodies can no longer bind to the antigen. Therefore, C3B deposition disrupts immune complexes, as you can see here in the video. And the consequence is the reduction of immune complex formation. This process is constantly happening in our body. The antigen covalently bound to C3B will later be phagocytose. Another mechanism of how immune complexes accumulation is regulated is by a process that requires red blood cells and macrophages. Red blood cells possess CR1 on the cell surface or complement receptor 1 that recognize C3B on immune complexes and this C3B immune complex will be transported to the spleen. Here in the spleen macrophages which also express CR1, complement receptor 1 on the surface, plus FC receptor, will be able to recognize the immune complexes. Basically, CR1 recognizes C3B and the FC receptor located on macrophages will recognize the FC region of the immunoglobulin associated to the immune complex. Macrophages will phagocytose the immune complexes and the red blood cells will go back to circulation. Apoptosis, also known as a programmed cell death, is a very common feature in organisms through life, being an essential process during development and tissue homeostasis, starting already at the level of embryogenesis. Apoptosis is the primary mechanism by which organisms dispose of unwanted cells. It has been shown that the complement system play an essential role in the removal of apoptotic cells. In fact, it has been shown that apoptotic cells acquire the capacity to bind several complement proteins, such as C1Q and MDL, which are important in the process of activation of the complement system that lead to C3B deposition. Apoptotic cells also are recognized by non-complement proteins, such as autoantibodies, IgM in nature, C-reactive protein, serum amyloid P or SAT, and petraxins. As shown in previous videos, CRP and IgM can also be recognized by C1Q, leading to activation of the classical pathway of the complement system. Many investigators describe apoptosis as an efficient and non-inflammatory process. As you can see here, most of this protein contributes to inflammation. Well, Apparently, other proteins bind to apoptotic cells to balance the inflammatory processes. 
Examples of these proteins are factor H and C4 binding protein. These proteins are also called complement regulatory proteins. And the function of these proteins are described in other videos. What is important here is that factor H and C4 binding protein are able to control exacerbated complement activation, so the process of removal of apoptotic cells do not cause inflammation to an extent of damaging surrounding cells and therefore damaging the host. Apoptotic cells coated with several proteins, including C3B and subthalamus C3B, are recognized by complement receptors such as CR1, CR3, and CR4 found in many cells. Macrophages also have a receptor called CD91 that is able to bind to C1Q. The result of this interaction between ligands and receptor lead to an efficient removal of apoptotic cells by macrophages in a process called phagocytosis. In summary, the complement system plays a fundamental role in keeping the host safe from certain products that are normally produced in our body, immune complexes and apoptotic cells. Thank you.